Electricity Minister Josie Nsoramokopa says breakdowns of units and supply and demand continue to be a problem. He was giving his regular update on the implementation of the Energy Action Plan this morning. ENCA reporter Avi Mtila was there. The energy availability factor has improved significantly from May till August, says the Electricity Minister, with adding around 2,000 megawatts into the grid during this period. What does this mean for South Africans back at home? Let's find out from Dr. Khosien Uh Minister, thank you for joining us at ENCA, but what does this improvement mean in terms of um, relief itself? Will we see uh, lesser stages of load shedding going forward? Yes, it does uh, show that uh, our actions are bearing fruit. Uh, we did make the commitment that we'll continue to improve the energy availability factor. We moved it from a low, historic low of about 48 percent, and now uh, at about 60 percent. And as we have correctly mentioned, during the period uh, May to August, we have added uh, an additional 2,000 megawatts uh, to, to the bottom line. So this is about a five percentage point improvement. And, and besides the units themselves, doesn't it come at a cost? Given the burning of diesel. I understand that uh, from April till currently you've burnt uh, 9.2 billion rands worth of diesel. Yes, uh, I mean, we, we never disguised our intention. When I announced the, uh, the winter outlook, I did say it will be anchored on, uh, on three areas for us to ensure that we are able to alleviate uh, us getting to stages even beyond stage eight. To remember that in terms of the projections, uh, the winter outlook, the worst case scenario was that we'll go to stage eight plus. But we haven't seen that. The worst we've seen was stage six, uh, and that was uh, also a period of about 30 hours or so. And I did say that three things are going to be done. The first one is to continue to improve the performance of the installed units, so improving the energy availability factor. I did show you that they were moved from a, a low of 48 percent, now we're at about 60 percent, uh, even during that period of, uh, of, uh, of June, July. And then the second one we did say will work with uh, communities, will work with businesses to reduce demand so that there's no <clears throat> additional pressure that is made on the grid, because if there's that additional uh, pressure, then you have to intensify stages of load shedding. The third area, I did say that we're going to bend this. I guess then the last and most important question is when will we see the, the end of load shedding completely? Well, when I came into the space, the president said, go and look for 6,000 megawatts. I've just told you uh, at the point, uh, w this is uh, about uh, when we were appointed uh, February. Now, as I speak to you, we have gotten about uh, 4,000 uh, megawatts or so. No, not starting in May, but earlier than that. Um, and then because we're at about uh, at about 25,000 megawatts. Now, as I speak to you, we are at uh, about 29,000 megawatts. So we've got the 4,000 megawatts. I'm sharing with you now in the general public is to say that the Tutuka, combination of Tutuka and uh, Kusile will give us uh, another 4,000 megawatts. Tutuka by end of uh, August, uh, mid, uh, uh, mid uh, uh, September, will get two or three units, will give us about uh, 1,200 megawatts. And then you go to Kusile, we're firing unit five in October, we are getting the three units that were out, one, two, three. The first of those the three, end of November, the other one will come, uh, the last of the three will come uh, uh, mid uh, end of December, 24th of December to be precise. It's, uh, the two of them is uh, 4,000 megawatts. So from the time we have appointed to now, by that time, would have given you 8,000 megawatts, more than uh, the 6,000 megawatts that I've been assigned to. But we have not resolved load shedding. That's the important part. Because once we have a, a period of a 24-hour cycle of uh, the lights being on, then investors are going to come because there's renewed confidence. Eh? The economy will begin to pick up. As the economy pick up, it's got the correlation with regards to additional demand capacity. And that's why we must accelerate new sources of generation. The next bit windows must come on board aggressively. We must address the issues of transmission so that we are able to connect the renewables. We must get the gas that is required, the 3,000 megawatts. We must ensure that we accelerate the import of that energy, energy excess energy from neighboring countries. That's when you are going to uh, build a buffer. I can stand here uh, in the next uh, five months or so, and they will, we'll see that you have gone through a period of uh, the lights being on for 24 hours. You have not resolved load chain. You have postponed it. Unless you do this other set of measures, you are, you are not out of the woods yet. And that's why we're doing everything possible so that when I stand before you and say load chaining is gone, indeed it's gone because it's able to accommodate the kind of uh, energy that is required to get the economy going, get people into jobs, get 
people uh, into new opportunities. Farmers must produce, uh, doctors must pe perform emergency surgery. Only at that stage I can stand here confidently. But in terms of my assignment, we are proceeding exceptionally well. All right. Thank you very much. Electricity Minister uh, Dr. Khonsienzo Ramokhop are promising lesser load shedding as we see the back of winter and also the increase of the energy availability factor to more than 60%. Aviwem Dila, Pretoria.